I'm just gonna take a word. You probably making it's that nigga drink. Like, oh, you know, it's kind of <laughs> that, like, I got bored. I didn't get bored. Like I just, I again, I mean, kind of outgrew. He focused on like his career, and he was doing great. Like, and and I, that conversation? I was him. And then me, I was like, I was a mom. I finished yeah, college. You, you get class, I, I was rolling. <laughs> we trying to go like two different ways. He was just too focused into work. I'm proud of him for. I'll never knock him for that. But it just got like way too off. He's, like, How old were you? I mean, we were for together five, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, so you were really young. Well, right. I don't know how old you that's, are now, but that's young thing, I know it's not an excuse, like being young, but like yeah. you know, I was a teenager, and now I'm twenty-one. Sure. I'm twenty-two. I have my yeah. degree. I have a kid, and like, it just was like I kind of wanted to go disco- not discover. I'm not out here holding it out. Like, you know, I don't need a man right now. Um, but it's been nice. Like, even he's had like he's kind of manipulative. He's a very great liar. He hides a lot of stuff, like his alcoholism. And I tried to like work with him on that, and that it wasn't going. Why? Why? Um, why, 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 why do you? Why do you think you don't need a man? Why no, did you get no, she didn't say that. She says she don't need a man right now. No, right why now. That's that alcoholic. So, so you do you think him? that you're gonna jump? Back to the alcoholism. Hold on. <laughs> One why question. You, you guys are getting jumbled. Hold on, hold yeah, on. How do, you, how, do you, how do you hide alcoholism? How do you hide that? Maybe you I, in the back. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> I don't no, have no, it. My husband it. No, that's what I'm saying. Jay, did y'all live together? Yeah, we lived together so straight out of Damn. Huh? What how did that? he hide it if y'all lived together? How was he hiding it if you guys lived together? If he wasn't well, he wasn't hiding it. You know, to be fair, like as a man, they get home from work, they c- crack a couple bottles. Okay, cool. Um, but then at the same point it got to like you're not paying attention, you're not cleaning up. Uh he would hide bottles, like I don't want to put this out there because it's live, right? Recorded. Um but like it would be under like bottles under the sink in my closet in the cabinet. Oh, shit. Yo, so, so hold on. Under was, the fridge. To buy a drink. This is like bottles. Like you, you, you need to, you like need to read um, John the Baptist's um, super chat. Jesus Christ! No, if question, I'll get to it. So John the Baptist said. Point. If this panel doesn't stop saying feeling happy, expressing being horny, marriage and relationships are not about men or women feeling. Boom. I, I 100% about- agree. I think I can Man, pick what? any woman off the street and she's willing to go through life with me no matter how I feel. I can make it work if I want to. It wasn't even, like, what are they saying? It's like, I was just looking for... No, it wasn't, it wasn't that- towards you. He said it's oh. about feeling. Like, a lot of people go through relationships thinking it's a feeling. Like, love is a feeling. I think love is a choice. Yeah, I'm not I, I don't. I don't I think. I don't think love is what sustains a relationship. I don't think love is what sustains a marriage. I think after love, love is fleeting. Once it goes, you have to have something else to hang on to. That's and that's when. And that's when women leave. When the love is gone. When the tingly feelings are gone, they fucking out this bitch. That's like sex. Yeah, that's what I think. Tingly feelings aren't love. I can't. I can't attest to that. Like the tingly feeling. Uh, I'm just overall. I'm not. No, 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 he's not talking about you, He's just talking about love right. in general. Yeah, I just, I just, that's, that's why the, I feel like that, that's maybe why the divorce rate is so high because you don't, you, you get into a marriage, like, I feel like people date and date until they feel these like huge feelings. All right, let's get married now. When I think you probably know if you can be with someone within the first three months or two months within talking to them before the love even comes. Like the last woman I dated, I said, you're a good mother. You're a good woman. Like I can marry you tomorrow. And we, as long as you want to be with me, we can make this shit work. Because yeah. it's not about love. It's not about being happy. It's about other shit. It's about duty, honor, respect. You can, if you can hold on to that shit, you don't need love and all the, the feelings. You don't. I think what it is that, though, that's, is that- that's a very Western way of, of dating and marrying. And that's why, that's why Indians, and that, that's why they fucking, their fucking divorce rate is, is not as half hours because they don't, they, they, they dads pick their, their, their significant others and, Love isn't the premise or to, to get married. It's... I can see that logic. Go ahead, Lista, and then Carrie. It's Litsa. Oh, Litsa, I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> no, sorry. I, was just saying, I think um, most people don't have those qualities. And 
you know, people are just jumping into a relationship without knowing any essence of who they are as individuals. I mean, you ask people nowadays, who are you? They say, I'm this, I'm my job. I'm whatever it is I do outside of work. But if you truly take away all those, you know, external values, who are you as a person? People don't know themselves. They're constantly seeking validation outside of themselves. Like you really, you really got to understand you. If you don't have none of those qualities, you really should not be going into a relationship. Like mm -hmm. when your when relationship fails, we always want to blame place on the other person, but we never actually ask, our, ask ourselves, what attracted me to that? Why is it that why is it that I keep attracting the very thing that keeps coming to me? What is it that I need to check with with myself? Because you attract what you are. That's a fact. Whatever mindset you have, that's what you're gonna attract, whether that's with money, goals, relationship, people. You you are what you get. So I think we need to start turning internally. The problem with the society is that we're always trying to find answers outside of us when really you just gotta turn within. But the hardest mirror to look at is yourself, is your own mirror. So people are trying to, you know, put all these stickers and, you know, line the mirrors with all these type of fog and et cetera, et cetera. And the hardest work is yourself. So people don't want to do that. So then you have all these broken people creating broken relationships, creating broken children, children. I got to teach as a teacher, <laughs> you know, and you have all these tra people passing trauma, you know, onto the next person, onto the next person. I think what we really need is a reality check with ourselves. Change your mindset. Your diet has a lot to do with it, right? Change what it is that you want to focus on. Be the very thing you want to be. And then you start to get everything that you put in. But we're not talking about that. You know, everything is just, oh, we need a, not half of these people don't need a relationship. I think majority of us need to really just call it quits, work on our shit, right? The, the nitty, the gritty, it's not pretty. No one ever said it was going to be pretty. I've had to face mad shit about myself that I hated. That shit hurt. I was like, you know what? I don't like it, but I know it's the very next thing I need to do if I'm trying to break any generational curse like they like to call it nowadays. So therefore, I'm not passing on these, you know, broken qualities and mentalities to my future children. But we don't I, think I about think that's it. probably that's probably the worst thing that, that I hear um, as it pertains to relationship is everyone needs trauma or has trauma and everyone needs to talk to somebody and then it just it's and i never said i never said that i i i, I did my shit on my on my own <laughs> i never saw a therapist or anything like that I, there's plenty of resources out there whether that be a library youtube streaming whatever the case is or just literally looking looking within yourself i i never saw any i mean there's no such thing as seeking help without any out like someone is going to have helped you whether that be a book that someone wrote or a stream that someone, you know, filmed on YouTube, whatever the case is, it's impossible to do this shit on your own. But every, the way people do it is, is, is different. Like no one, no one ever gets thoughts or these ideas on their own. Your thoughts are pre-programmed in you. Now you just decide what you want to identify with. I That's agree. It. Yeah. Preach. Some people need help though. That's not, but I mean, I agree with the whole therapy and people needing help because if not, it's just you're transferring trauma to the next relationship. And I've done that. So I don't think that's healthy at all. So I think that a lot of people have baggage, have trauma, and, you know, they think so negatively regarding relationships in general. Men, all men cheat. All women are hoes. All women do to this. Oh, they're going to take 50. They're going to divorce me. So it's like it's like. You need to figure out what is causing that that mindset and figure out why it's coming to your mind like that and heal. 